All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So what we have here is our first isometric drawing. Uh, this will go hand in hand with the slideshow presentation that we will be going over in class today for lecture. Uh, just to let you know, it's a different ball game than drawing within 2D. So isometric is uh, not necessarily 3D, but a perception of 3D modeling. Basically, you're creating a 3D shape using lines. Uh, using various angles as well. So uh, let's get into it. As you can see here, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a box, uh, basically like our outline. So we're going to utilize our height, width, and depth. So as we can see here, our height is 1.5 inches, our width is 3.5 inches, and our depth is 2 inches. All right. So we're going to create a box with those parameters. So to begin, we have to have certain things on, right? We have to make sure our object snaps are on. Let's have our ortho mode on. Let's also have our, what's going to be new, isometric drafting option, iso draft. So when we turn that on, you kind of see the shift in the, the dots on your screen, right? You'll also notice a green and red arrow. So let's begin. I'm going to use my 00, zero axis or 00, zero origin point as this corner right here, and we're going to reflect everything from it. So I'm going to switch over to my construction layer property, and I'm going to draw a line. I'm not going to do X line. I'm just going to click line. So this line is going to start at 00, zero and that's going to be 3.5. Now, we have to make sure uh, we're creating the shape. So we have to go up. We're going to go up in the height direction, 1.5, or the Z direction. We're going to go back across, and this is going to be 3.5. And then we're going to close it off right here. Now, I'm going to press escape because I want to shift over. We have to create the top side. Or we could, uh, we got to create the top part, sorry, or we could create the right side. However you want to do it. Now, to do that, we have to change our view. So we have top, front, and right view. Right now, our cursor is going to be in the front view. So I'm going to press the F5 button. F5 button is going to be your bread and butter, okay? This is what you're going to use to change your view. So I just press F5 once, and that changed it to my top view. F5 again changes to my side or right view. And then once more, it changes it back to the front. So I'm going to go into the top. Remember, F5. That's what we're going to be using for a while now. F5. So I'm going to go back to line. I'm going to create another line that's going to be the size of my depth. That's going to be 2. Then my width is going to be 3.5. And I'm going to connect it right here. I'm going to press escape. <clears throat> Now, we have to finish off with the right side. So I'm going to press F5 once again. And now you have two options. You can either create a line, click the line option, or you can press the space bar. The space bar recreates the command that you used prior. So that's going to go across the depth two, and then we're going to go right up. I'm press escape. Now, you see we have this here, right? So, with that being said, I'm going to go over to my object layer property. Within my object layer property, we're going to start tracing out our shape. Now, I'm going to change my view again. I'm going to go from the fr uh, front side. I like to start at my origin point. I don't know why. But I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go all the way across. That's simple enough. We get to trace that. Now, we're going to have to go up, but we're going to go up by 0.5 or a half inch. Now, I'm going to press escape. I'm going to go back to my origin point, and I'm going to trace this line again. Then I'm going to come across, and that's going to be 2.0. Now, all I simply do is connect it to this endpoint right here, and we got our first side of the shape. Now, I'm going to press F5 press my space bar, and I'm going to start doing the shape from uh, the top side. So that's going to trace across. That's going to go to two, 
and this is going to connect right here. Now, I have to basically create the uh, right side. So I'm going to press F5. I'm going to press line. And I'm going to go across. Now I'm going to go up 0.5. And I can connect it to this endpoint right here. Now all I simply have to do is press my spacebar again or line and connect these endpoints. Once I do that, I'm going to take off my construction layer properties real quick just to show you guys. There we go. We have our first isometric shape. We're not done though. We had to create the circle that's on top. Very simple. I'm going to change my view again. I want to get the top side view, so I pressed it twice. Remember, when you press isometric, it's going to come in your front view. So this one right here, press it once more. That's top, that's right. Front, top, right. Front, top, right. So I just want to get it to the top portion again. So there's many ways we can go about this. We can go uh to the construction line and we can look for our midpoint end point or i'm sorry our midpoint snap right here and right here press escape or uh, i'm sorry and then from here to here and go right there so basically this hole is in the direct center of our drawing you can also create a, let me delete these lines real quick. You can also create a diagonal line. That creates your center point, right? Or you can offset these lines. There's a whole bunch of different options that you guys have. So I'm going to go snap from the midpoint to midpoint. Midpoint to midpoint. Now, I'm going to go into object. So there's many ways we can create this circle. You can create this circle using the axis N, which I'm about to show you guys, or you can create this circle using the original traditional method where back in the day we used to use, when we used to use pan printed blueprints, you would have to create a pattern on the, on the square to create a circle. Now, to let you know, that takes way longer than my method. We're all about efficiency and working fast, but making sure we are correct. You get the same result as you do creating the other uh, option, using the uh, other option, than you do by using my option. So, I'm gonna create this, I'm gonna click this uh, drop down menu right here. I'm going to go to axes end, axes end. Now, arc, center, and iso circle is going to come up in your command bar. We're going to click iso circle. We have to specify the center of our iso circle. We have a midpoint right here. Now, you can specify the radius of circle or diameter. If you look at our drawing, our drawing calls out diameter. If you use radius, are you necessarily wrong? No, you just have to double it. It's gonna be a two inch radius. But remember, we use radiuses for arcs and curved edges. We use diameters for whole circles. So I'm gonna select the diameter option. So I click diameter. I'm gonna type in one, press enter. Press escape, turn off my construction layer property. Would you look at that? Same method. Now, I'm gonna save the dimension uh, for the following video. Take care, y'all.